coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Bad Drone Journalism Lessons Dart Drones announces Public Safety Grant Program and Olympic Drones Thrill World. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world with more than 195,000 members and 2,000 forager clubs across the country. Good drone journalism is not exactly easy, but neither should it be all that difficult with just a little effort. Unfortunately, a number of so-called media outlets are taking cheap shots at new unmanned technologies without properly researching or understanding the details. A case in point revolves around recent reports of a helicopter crash that was allegedly caused by a near miss with a small civilian drone. One media outlet illustrated the story with garish out of proportion illustrations showing a monstrous quadcopter striking the small helicopter and another showing a map with yet another illustration suggesting an explosive event. The facts support neither illustration. According to the report, a helicopter instructor took evasive action to avoid a drone and in doing so ran the R-22 helicopter's tail rotor into near vegetation causing an impact and a rollover. For this to occur, the helicopter had to be at a very low altitude and the incident time frame to be very short. No physical evidence of a quadcopter presence has been proven. No evidence of a collision has been uncovered or reported, and the ludicrous illustration and accompanying narrative showing a monstrous quad striking a helicopter in flight is wholly inaccurate in scope as well as fact. General media can easily do better, and we hope it will soon. In the next show minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. One of the people on the shortlist to succeed Michael Huerta as FAA Administrator is John Duncan, who was President Donald Trump's personal pilot on Trump Force One during the campaign. Trump has reportedly told several administration officials and associates that he would like to see Duncan in the position. And while many in Washington are saying that Duncan would be unqualified to lead the agency, an administration official defended Duncan, saying he has managed airline and corporate flight departments, as well as certifying startup airlines and overseeing Trump's campaign air fleet. There are some non-traditional models at Milan Fashion Week as quadcopters carried handbags from Dolce & Gabbana down the runway. There are at least eight individual drones used to carry a variety of handbags down the runway, stopping to be photographed by attendees before heading backstage to make way for human models. But the presentation was not without challenges as it was reportedly delayed for about 45 minutes with repeated announcements that all Wi-Fi connections needed to be shut off to prevent interference with the drones. Violent non-state actors have increasingly been making use of UAVs. Initially, this was limited to intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance. But more recently, some terrorist organizations have deployed improvised explosive devices in war zones. Now, the threat of UAVs being used in attacks in Europe or North America is rising, according to a white paper published by Global Risk Insights. Birol Applied Research and BNSF Railway has successfully demonstrated the processing of tens of thousands of images at a time covering hundreds of miles of track for the automatic detection, classification, and reporting of all rail conditions. This was possible using RailVision, a computer vision technology solution developed by B-Roll and BNSF in support of BNSF's UAS research initiatives. That was our Drone Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Dart Drones has pledged $100,000 in drone training grants to public safety organizations. A year ago, the small team at Dart Drones eagerly awaited their moment in the spotlight preparing to be featured on Shark Tank. 
Since that time, the company tripled the size of their team, expanding training to 40 cities across the country, and added curriculum that provides police, fire, and federal agencies with drone training. Dart Drones has trained over 70 police and fire departments and utilizes flight instructors with both public safety and manned aviation experience. Recipients of the Dart Drone Public Safety Grant will be awarded full or partial funding for their initial training needs, potentially including basic flight training, Part 107 test prep, search and rescue training, accident investigation training, aerial disaster response training, and a number of consulting and legal documentation writing services. Dart Drones Drone Academy already offers a number of free resources online for public safety departments, including starting a drone program with your police department, starting a drone program with your fire department, and the live SAID with Search and Rescue Drones 2017. Dart Drones is working with other drone software and services companies to expand the reach and offerings of this grant. During the Olympic Winter Games Pyeongchang 2018 closing ceremony, 300 Intel Shooting Star drones took flight to celebrate the athletes who competed in this year's games. The aerial performance painted colorful illustrations in the sky, including the Olympic mascot Zohorong the White Tiger, who comes running in above the stadium, cheering on athletes and creating a heart outline in the sky. The Intel Shooting Star drones created a volumetric heart, symbolic for gratitude and love towards the Olympic athletes. Previously, Intel kicked off the Olympic Winter Games with a Guinness World Record title breaking performance of more than 1,200 drones flown simultaneously during a pre-recorded broadcast for the opening ceremony. Additionally, the Intel Shooting Star drones soared to celebrate the Olympians at nightly victory ceremonies when weather and logistics permitted creating illustrations of Suhorong, the Pyeongchang logo, and athletes such as skiers, hockey players, and curlers across the nighttime sky. Intel has created an entirely new entertainment concept by producing drone light shows featuring hundreds of Intel shooting star drones, all controlled by one pilot. The drones are custom-built for entertainment purposes with a lightweight structure. Each one emits more than 4 billion color combinations. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.